earth to finish what we started. And this time, none of you will be left behind. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brute has the Index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Emberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. Not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. Blood-controlled dropships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that grave mine, used us. We were just a diversion. An amber clad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll leave you to it. I'll disable this lift once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope.
Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn high charity into another of their wretched hides? No enemy has ever withstood our might. But two shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the launch sequence. Something inside the ship. Present. Fighting back. For a covenant construct, it's unusually formidable.
Parasite did not defeat the fallen, and it shall not defeat us. Second creature, your death is dead, while we shall shut out the forest of an infinity. Part of the tower are particularly robust. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of truth, and I am not afraid. No good mercy is here, my son. These wise counts are never in my head. Hierarch's private quarters, their inner sanctum.
This crisis will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and salvation. The history of the Arbiter is one of both legend and infamy. Their name has been corrupted by great shame. Though the contemporary is perhaps the most confounding of all. Thel Vadimi was born of noble blood, the legendary house of Vada. His family's renown demanded great expectations for his military career, and he would meet them all. the youngest to achieve the status of shipmaster, and one of the youngest to gain the rate of supreme commander. In our campaign against the humans, few have risen to renown as Vadami. World after human world, all laid low for the sake of the great journey. But then came Halo. Shame unto shame. He failed his greatest charge and the sacred ring was desecrated. By such disgrace, Thel Vadimi became the Arbiter. As a mere scribe, I do not challenge the word of the Hierarchs, but I would be remiss not to voice concern. This Sangheili should have been put down, publicly slain as an example to all of our prayerful expediency. With the discovery of a second ring and the changing of the guard, all things are in jeopardy. Will this arbiter remain loyal? Or will he stand with his people as they are abolished by our newfound might? I would never openly challenge the divine proclamations of a hierarch, but this arbiter is a risk I would not have tolerated. And I now fear the days of the covenant
I knew the Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. Now is the time of our unworlding. The moment we shall all become as gods. You know the plan. You've got to stop truth. I've got to handle the index. Go! If you would falter, know this. One final effort is all that remains. Forget about the flood. You've got to get aboard. Chief, when you get to Earth, good luck. After I'm through with truth. Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. <laughs>